Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Army Men of War. So I do apologise for being away for so long, I think it's been like nearly a week since I've uploaded. But um, my nan has been ill so I've had to go and look after her for a little bit. So what are we going to be doing today? We're going to be looking over the battle of the last blue trench. Which was the last trench to defend against the oncoming grey forces. So this is going to be quite the epic battle. And I hope you like the intro, and we're going to get straight into it. So here we go. So we're just going to wait for the enemy. Explosions going off. See, this is a really well dug out trench. They have some tanks acting as like stationary bunkers. Plenty of soldiers wearing their caps. Known as the BEF, the Blue Expeditionary Force. Artillery fire. Oh, did you hear that? And here we go. Opening up on the uh, on the great forces. So army men in trenches. You've got to love it. Plastic army men versus great army men. Attacking trenches. You can see the greys have come completely to a halt. Not advancing yet. And if they stay back there, they're just going to get hit with artillery. So not good at all. Just disintegrated some of the greys there. And here they come again. That's what they're doing. They're waiting for the next wave. So I think this is around 300 greys per wave. Blue army men versus great army men. This guy's getting very brave running ahead. What is he thinking? Look at him just gunning them down. This is so cool. Oh, look at him. What is his name? Oh, but it, it, it didn't last long enough. Would have been so cool if he actually survived. Ray's getting a little bit closer. These little tanks right here, they're being very effective. You can see that the blues do have some casualties, but not a lot. So I figured, you know, let's do some World War One warfare. And this is kind of like a time lapse. So we've gone a bit back in time to when the blues were holding the front line against the greys. As we all know that um, they have retreated now and they're guarding Rump's Wall. And it's also how the infamous Steel Division got their name. So you can see right here, here comes the tanks. But <laughs> not caring about that tank. Look at that. Thousands and thousands of plastic soldiers. I wonder how many waves it will actually take. These great heroes of the trenches. All made by me by the way, these like cool cardboard sort of dirt trenches with these plastic sandbags and Lego bricks. I thought it yeah, made for a really cool look. A bit of jump like that there. And there is like a backup trench, so if they do end up taking the front trench. They can release to this back part here. Oh, look at the devastation. Oh, 
Oh, they're going for a big charge. There they come. The grey plastic army. Heroes. Many heroes died this day. Trying to take this huge toy trench. They're doing so well. I didn't realise they'd do this well. I think we've lost just like... I don't know, maybe 20 blues? Maybe? Still a lot of small greys to take out though. Here come more panzers. The infamous blue... No, blue. The infamous grey panzer division, known as the steel division. It's kind of how they got their name. Really pushing up on this left flank. Followed by a load of infantry. Look, that's a shed load. Can they get closer? Use the panzers. No effort from these blue BEF soldiers. Oh, they're throwing the grenades. Oh, he threw it away. Oh, that was so cool. Get them, boys. Literally no match for the BEF. You can really see how the blues and all that, and all the greens and the reds, were holding against the greys on that fence. Oh, here we go. Bringing in some AT this time. Again with the charge. Let's try and pan with them. Oh, not good for them. About 20 dudes. Oh, here he goes. Oh, look at that. See that guy? He tried to fly. Now you could, you could maybe call this a plastic apocalypse. Look at that. Definitely some sort of plastic apocalypse. The Blues are doing so well. I was not expecting them to do this well. Like I say, whatever happens in this does affect what happens next. So, even though it is a flashback, maybe we could make another one. Uh, depending on who wins. Uh, as a result, because we still have yet to show the inside of the cave system of the um, Grillatan's base. So we do expect that in coming videos. More Panzers on the way. I think the blue artillery is still in play. I don't see any of the great shooting. They need to start shooting back. Getting very close there. Oh, there we go. Get him, lads. I'd say it would be really cool if we can do some sort of over the top charge towards the end. Running all on ammo. So, tell me in the comments what do you think the story could have been? I'm thinking something like maybe the, the blues were surrounded on all sides and there were just like shared loads of greys and panzers just like pushing on them and for days and days they just kept attacking this trench and it was this bra brave brave platoon right here which held off for hours at a time like just shooting them but you could imagine these guys would just be coming for forever made of plastic. They can just rebuild them. So many plastic army men dying. Not good. Nearly, nearly getting into those trenches. 
I have no idea what these greys are doing over here. They could really do with using those bunkers. Those bunkers, those uh, rockets on the bunkers. Which are actually tanks. But there was a saying, if you disable a tank, it becomes a bunker. Look how many dead plastic soldiers. That's a lot. Here comes another wave. Oh, this could be it. This could be the one. They're really focusing now on this flank. There we go. What, what are they doing? They're running at the back. They're going to take the rear trench. <gasps> some some rays did get across there as well. And now the blues truly are surrounded. Lag there from all the uh, other soldiers moving into the map. Here they are. Look at that, that's so cool. What are they going to do? Behind you, get him. Some trench to trench warfare right here. Now, this is bad because the blues are distracted. The uh, tank over there taking some shots. I think it just got disabled. This is not good. Not good for the Blues. The last stand. Whoa, they've like devised some sort of plan. They decided that's it. We're not charging any men down the centre. We're moving all along their flanks. And it's working as well. Look at that. There's so many of them. Still have a lot of blues left though. Oh, get the machine gun. Where are they going? I'm just wondering what these greys are actually doing. They're all clumping up at the back now. What on earth are they doing? Oh, we need we need to shoot a like a gun or something. I think all of the tanks are disabled though. Alright, let's try and move some troops around the back. Come on guys, get around here. This is not good at all. There's so many of them. Right, move some dudes around here. No, nope, maybe not, maybe not. So here's the story. The blues were surrounded. They didn't know what to do. They were grazed on all flanks and a huge amount in this centre part. I have no idea why they've done that, but every band to their own. Do what the general orders, I suppose. Grenade out. Oh, a heavy shot from that bazooka. I think we can call this an epic win for the greys. But you can really see how much damage the blues did at holding this last trench. And this would have been when the Greys pushed through uh, towards... Uh, I keep going to say Trump, but it's not Donald Trump, it is Donald Grump. So, this would have been the last breakthrough. Okay, over there. Oh, and he's gone. I think we can call the, call the Blues all goners in this one. Or we can call it a win for the Greys. So that was the last trench, the last toy trench. Um, and I do hope you liked it. Sorry, like I said, sorry if I've been gone for the past week or so, or last four days. It's like my nan's really ill at the minute, so I've been, been having to go around there every single day uh, to help her out, do her shopping and stuff. But hopefully she will get better soon. The greys are really moving up on them now. They're really just inspecting the area. But yeah, more videos will be coming soon, and we're going to be doing something cool with Armour 3 in the next few days. I'll be sure to put it, put it in like uh, the suggested videos or something. And that's about it really. So subscribe to the Mighty Nation. Also like, leave a comment and subscribe. I think I already said that though. And I will see you all in the next one.